All right. Hey, folks, Jeff here. Got my uh, two mages in Karazhan today for the first time. I was going to just try out and see if I could have some success uh, applying the same strategy that myself and others have been doing with this mage duo strategy in dungeons, right? I just made a video on Shadow Labs of how I've been farming in there, and I've had some good success in Shattered Halls and Steam Vaults and Slave Pens with two mages and Blizzarding with the Frostbite talent. So I um, wanted to see if this could apply in Karazhan. It's very much a... Um, this is like proof of concept to just see if I could make it work. Um, and something that probably some of the better players than me could take forward. I really like uh, Arleus has done a ton of this. That's who I really learned the Shadow Labs farm from. Mason X um, does this and was the first I see to introduce it and some others. But you can see here, I go up like normal, pull a set of mobs from the ballroom area, ice block just at the edge of these uh, stairs. And then I've got my other mage out of line of sight behind this pillar here. Um, pop my water elemental, freeze them, and then it's just flipping back and forth and doing your best to keep the mobs frozen in place while you kill them with Blizzard. Um, I didn't do a great job stacking them up in this first pull. This was the very first one that I had some success in, and of course I died quite a few times, times trying to find a good spot where I could make this work. I'm in a good rotation. I still was taking some knives. These mobs will throw knives at you or dynamite or something else. Um, but was able to get them down except for um, this one spectral whatever it is that I just did super poor play there and let her come and kill my other mage without flipping back and forth. Spectral Servant. Um, and of course there's a few mobs mixed into those groups up above that have much higher health and this is one but thankfully she does not do any type of range so um, I was able to just have come down and have a very messy kill with my second mage. Um, but I did eventually get her down. And like I said, I was not able to find that this, at least for me, was not like a good money maker. It's not going to be the type of thing where you're um, going to be farming and resetting and killing mobs and getting 500 gold an hour like you can in Shadow Labs or, or other places. Uh, but it was more just to see if I could make it work. And who knows, some others might be able to find a good practical use from this. You can get some good loot off of these mobs, patterns, jewel crafting patterns. There are epics that drop. Um, and uh, of course, uh, soul lessons to make some of the resist gear. But uh, so I did several pulls of this. Um, you're watching out for some of these mobs up top that you can pull that are the single padding elites that actually will run through slow and just kill you. But if you find a good pack, you can uh, pull them with Blizzard, run down to this spot on the stairs where my mage is. And you want to be on the stairs, not on that gray platform to the left, because you can't blink off of there. You'll be stopped when you hit the stairs. I found that out the hard way. Uh, but then it's the same thing. Come back down. The second kill was much cleaner for me. Pop your elemental. Keep them frozen. Um, pop my second elemental there. Freeze them again. You got to actually get line of sight on the mob, so you have to have the elemental attack. And then you're just flipping back and forth and blizzarding. And these mobs actually have relatively low health. Like the kill is quicker than in Shadow Labs and some of the other places. And that was a pretty good clean kill. Came up for another one. There's a Spectral Servant, so a high health one. I grab her in this pack, run back down to the spot. Again, I'm staying on the corner of the stairs, not on that gray border to the side. Ice block when they get to you. See, I took a knife to the back there. Popped my MQG in this scenario. Blink down. Freeze in place. Blizzard back and forth. And a little bit of RNG in here. You're hoping for good procs with your frostbite to keep them locked down. If not, you get the ones walking right through. You can have trouble. But you can see, see still here on my main mage. I'm still taking knives, so I'm not quite out of line of sight. I think I moved him over a little bit there and got out of line of sight. And relatively quickly, you're able to get down all of the mobs except for the Spectral Servant. It would be that more heavy duty elite. I still got two alive here, one throwing knives at me. I'm almost dead on my main, but I get the knife thrower down, and now it's just this one left. And single mob when you have two mages, a lot of people will just dual frostbolt and kill this quicker. I like to do one frostbolt and one blizzard. The blizzard with improved keeps it about as slow as you can get the mob. You've got a chance to proc and just keep them locked down. 
did a Nova there. So I've got one mob or one uh, character frost bolting. My second mage using Blizzard. Looks like I did one more here. Big pull. Around the corner, back to the same spot. Pop dicey veins there just to get a little bit better chance to get um, frostbite procs and freeze them. Use my elemental freeze. Back and forth. This one's pretty clean. I've got good line of sight. No casts or no uh, knives, I guess, thrown on me. Two elementals. There I saw blood sp uh, splatter, so I'm taking some damage there. And in this pack, I had none of those uh, more like harder elites that were in there. So some good success on the stairs there. You cannot clear all of those mobs. There's mobs that just run through. I did try the spiders and the horses. Um, stallions this kill here is a spectral stallion which would be the easiest there's also spectral chargers which of course charge you as you know if you've been in Kara and stayed far in the back and were first to die in your run like i usually do um but use that same strategy here of one mage to really keep uh the horse as slow as possible with blizzard and my other mage just casting frostbolt to try to single target it down got some help from my water elemental and uh, was eventually able to kill this horse. I did have some success with the two packs, which is the next pack you have to pull. And I actually killed one, uh, one charger by just carefully staying, kind of trying to keep a uh, no clear path using this area where I am now up top there with my aggro mage, the mage that had aggro on the charger. And then the other one just keeping it slowed with blizzard. Um, but I didn't get a good uh, good recording of that one, um, but uh, it certainly is possible. And like I said, some of these folks making videos and really that have uh, pioneered this strategy that are better than me might be able to have some more success in here um, and kill some of these packs. See if you could get to, uh, to the horse boss down in there. Um, but like I said, this was my first attempt and I hadn't tried this much before because of course... Um, tend to come into Kara pretty early and clear it. Um, and of course, one of these is my main, and so then you don't have the instance. But I came in early in the week and did some experimenting for the first few hours in the week. I was able to kill some of these spiders as well. I thought there was good opportunity here to round up a lot of mobs. There's more spiders passed in this door inside. So you can see here, I thought, OK, I'm going to go in, maybe round up a couple packs, do like we do in the dungeons, ice block, drop my blizzard on top and do this the traditional duo mage farming way. Started to have some success. I thought, oh, this is going to be great. I should have had my other elemental. There he is freezing because you can see when you attack these large spiders, they spawn two or three small spiders around them that have less health that you can kill. So this was going good, ready to kite him out into the main room. Have him really well frozen, just going back and forth between. Um, I got a little messy here and didn't keep Blizzard on them. And uh, so then some didn't have Blizzard, and you could see they leashed. So they all go back. So uh, the spiders ended up being a little bit harder than I thought. I did come in again, tried to do something a little more traditional. I started with the Frost Bowl for whatever reason, but they spawned the other spiders. Started Blizzarding back and forth. And this pull was a little bit of a train wreck. I mean, pretty sloppy. I took some hits there, and if there had been any group of mobs, I would have been dead. I should have been. But... By keeping Blizzard on these mobs at all times, I was able to keep them from leashing, even though I pulled them way out of this room. And it was kind of hit and miss. Sometimes they leashed and sometimes they didn't. I couldn't quite figure it out, but it is at least possible to kill these spiders um, and get whatever loot they would drop. I don't know if the epics are on their tables or not, um, but you know, I got spider silk and some other random stuff. Um, but you can see they have quite a bit of health, so it's more of a traditional big boss kill rather than the mobs up top in that ballroom area. There's one that came through, but he didn't end up leashing. And I was able to eventually over sort of a long course double mage blizzard these spiders down.
All right, and believe it or not, I did actually end up killing all three of these. And if you got this far, hey, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.